Cocoon by Lisa Shen. Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Shen and I'm a writer and spoken word artist based in the Toronto area. For the past seven years, I've been living with this neurological disease slash chronic pain disorder that results in me having pain in all my extremities, as well as widespread muscle tension. And this means that I struggle a lot with things like walking and standing. And over time, what happened is that this resulted in me feeling really socially isolated. Because if you don't think about it, um, most outings require some amount of standing, whether you're going to a concert um, or even just commuting downtown. And so a lot of social events I couldn't participate in. So on my end, when COVID-19 happened, um, suddenly not, uh, not only was I no longer the only person who was feeling isolated, but all of these social opportunities moved online. So things like comedy shows or even gaming nights with friends. And this really helped remove the barriers to my participation. So I wrote this essay, Cocoon, that I'm about to share a bit of in early 2021 after about a year of the pandemic. And it talks about this newfound belonging of mine in an online world and how strange it was for me to be finding joy where others were experiencing loss. And for me, now that these COVID-19 bar- like restrictions are beginning to be lifted, I feel the opposite of that. Like I'm going to be experiencing loss where others are rediscovering joy and embracing myself for the sadness that I know I'm going to feel when everyone else can return outdoors and I am somewhat left behind. So I'm now going to read a portion of my essay, Cocoon. In the spring of 2020, a butterfly flapped its wings on the other side of the world, and Ontario cocooned itself into a state of lockdown. Maintain physical distancing, blinked the highway signs. Save a life. So we went home, locked our doors, and opened up the blue-white screens of our laptops. At the click of a mouse, everything moved online. Musicals, gaming nights, comedy shows. My concerns of injury evaporated with the last of winter's snow. In their place, the glow of my computer screen, a window into everything I had been missing. And the world opened up to me. Tonight, I am in both Toronto and Vancouver, California and New York. Without the need for a body, I can go anywhere. Here, in the safety of my room, there is no sitting on the edges of a banquet hall while dozens of brightly colored dresses chatter and mill about. There is no staying behind while the rest of the lab embarks on a hike down to Coots. I am in the center of the crowd at the Pride Parade. I am the first one on the dance floor at prom. With the locking down of our country, The borders of social life have been opened up to me. For the first time in a long time, I'm just as alone as everyone else. I do not know how long the sense of belonging will last, whether it will be gone in the span of months or if it will trickle out into the years to come, leaving little golden rivers for me to follow after the rest of the world has gone back outdoors. However, while it remains, The only thing left to do is ask, may I have this dance? Thank you so much to everyone for listening to my experience and my work. If you want to keep up with my ongoing work, I'm It's Lisa Shen on Instagram. And please make sure to check out the rest of the No Body Left Behind campaign as we advocate for the rights of people with disabilities in the wake of COVID-19. Thank you so much.